Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Also founder and president of the uh, Community Awareness Emergency Response CAER Security Radio Patrol nonprofit organization that's been in existence since 1987 under several other names when we were in Tuscarawas County. Some of you haters of me and my ministry, why you hate me, I you know what, it's because You're just envious of my life. Everything I've done in my life. You're jealous of everything I've done in my life. And I'm still doing. You think computers is the way to go today. And if you're not smart in computer programming and computer wizardry, then you're, you know you're, you're nothing computer gaming and things like that well you know what not everybody wants to do that I just have a simple video camera that I videotape myself and put, put download it onto my uh, laptop computer and then from there to uh, YouTube I don't do anything fancy with my videos because why should I I'm you know just trying to get the truth out and that's another thing too you hate is the truth the way and the life you see in order to prove that my organization exists and has existed for years and also to prove that my organization I, I've showed picture I've, I've showed uh, letters yeah maybe people couldn't see them because you say there's a smudge on my camera there's no smudge it just you know, it gets uh, dark at, in places. <sighs> the uh, Ohio Department of Public Safety, which is also the uh, agency that's over the uh, private investigations and secure guards licensings, knows that we exist because in uh, uh, if you can see this package in uh, 19 uh, I mean 19, I don't mean uh, 2000. And 19. And it's ending by mid to late morning on Martin Luther King Jr. Day morning. The heavy snow, so as low as the ground in terms of the thing of forty, by the way. We became partners in the uh Safe Communities Program. Again, here's a letter from the uh, Ohio Department of Public Safety addressed to me and my organization. 
we're going to go for a range of about six to nine inches, and then four to six, and it falls off significantly in the ten towards Toledo. And right here says, Dear Friends of Public Safety. Dear Friends of Public Safety. I got the TV on because I'm on also snow and uh, freezing rain and uh, <coughs> watch in our area. I still got the weather and the news on here. Also, organization called React. React. So I was in REACT before I started the uh, radio patrol. There's still some REACT organizations around, and they still do the same thing that I do. But the, the uh, key is... We are part of the, uh, or members of, friends of, the Ohio State Safe Communities Program since uh, 1998. I have a lot more information in uh, a... Uh, family cabinet that I have with all this information saved. Also back in uh, 2000 um, the uh, sheriff office of the Tuscarawas County sent me a letter because they got the letter to, sent to them to contact me I didn't know, they this place didn't know how to contact me in order to receive this award it is on wood it's solid wood a plaque you probably see me holding a picture of this plaque and it says right here on this plaque Community Service Award 1999 to 2000 presented to Tuscarawas County Radio Patrol Unit presented by New Philadelphia VFW 1445 Now another thing too as some of you people know I'm also an amateur radio operator. This is some of the things that uh, amateur radio operators do. Right here is uh, times of uh, disasters. Aries. That I'm a part of as well. See, actually, when you're messing with me, you're also messing with Homeland Security. Because amateur radio operators that are a part of Aries is also a part of Homeland Security. That's why I had to take the Homeland Security NIMS training. This is my my uh, man my all the paperwork that I had to study and took the course online, of course. But I passed it. I'm going to show you here. This is the uh, manual I had to study online, of course. And for each, for each, uh, well, for each uh, course I had to study, and then I received. A uh, certificate of completion.
And there are several courses I had to take. So you know what, you can keep on, keep on, keep on trying to destroy my life. Go ahead, report me. Because I would love to show them, hey, you people made my organization a part of uh, the Safe Communities Program. So if, you, you know, we was not an organization then, or now, then why did you accept us then? The problem is, you people are stupid. You're stupid. You want everything your way. And if it's not your way, you gripe and you whine about what I'm doing. You say I'm griping and I'm whining. No, I'm trying to tell you the truth. I've had it up over my head with people like you. Posting videos like, like this on uh, a porn website that you made about me. Taking my videos that I, po that I make and post on both of my YouTube channels and posting them on uh, a revenge porn site that I have proof it says right there if it's revenge porn then they can take it down well I guess I'm going to have to sue that Canadian company in order for them to take it down because I went through the process and there's no way going through that process of removing that that page of me since there's no way of removing that page going through the process that it says to you can remove things it was revenge porn Basically, if someone does a revenge porn on that Pornhub website, there's no way of taking it off unless you sue the crap out of them. And let me tell you something. I will take it all the way to the Canadian government if I have to. So Canadian government, wake up. There's a porn company in your country that will not remove things that are put onto that site to hurt people. So if you value other people's rights in Canada like you say you do, go after that company. I would like to see a country do the right thing for once. Especially Canada. Well, I didn't want to be on here too long, so I just want to show you facts. I have more documentation too if I have to dig it out. So if you really think I'm impersonating a uh, security officer, yeah, this is a patch. But there are a lot of police departments that are using patches as well instead of badges. Does that mean they're less real? No. I have a badge, it's in my wallet. I also have some other badges on some uh, uh, special hats during disasters that I can wear as well.
You know, you people think you're right, but yet you're so wrong. So go ahead, call, report, do whatever you think you think you have the right to do. But you don't. Because the only right you think you have, really, is to just harass and cause trouble. You're a bunch of troublemakers. A bunch of bully troublemakers that whine and gripe when you don't get your way. You will be caught sooner or later. God bless you. Have a blessed day.